Hello everyone, today's impressive tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to make these awesome subject masking transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I already selected these three clips for this tutorial. This freeze frame transitions commonly used in music videos to create visual impact and enhance the storytelling or mood of the song now let's see how to create the subject masking transition inside the Premiere Pro. So first move the time indicator to the first frame of your second clip here. We have to take a snapshot of this frame. So click on this little camera icon to take a snapshot if you can't find this icon here. Click on this plus icon, then drag and drop this camera icon here and click on OK. Now click on this camera button to take a snapshot of this frame and select the snapshot name as you like. But this snapshot format as PNG, don't forget it, and enable import into the project, now click on OK. So, it'll make a snapshot in the project window. Now add the snapshot above your footage, you need to remove the background from the snapshot in Premiere Pro. You can remove background using the masking tool. So go to the effect controls tab, under the opacity effect, Click on Pen Tool, select your masking area to remove the background. But in this case, I would prefer to edit in Adobe Photoshop. So right click on the snapshot layer and select Edit in Photoshop and it will open up with a Photoshop application. Then go to the Select menu and click the Select and Mask option. Now click here and select Cloud. It will select this subject perfectly. Then click OK. Now delete the bottom layer. Simply click the delete button on your keyboard. Now see the background removed perfectly. Click Control plus S to save it. Then go back to the Premiere Pro. See the preview, the background is gone. Now decrease the snapshot layer size. Then move the snapshot layer above on your first clip now. March the second clip with your first clip. Now we are going to animate the snapshot. Move your time indicator to the first frame of the snapshot layer. Then go to the Effects tab. Search for Transform Effect. Add this effect to the snapshot layer. Then go to the Effect Controls tab inside the Transform Effect. Now make a keyframe on the position and shutter angle. Here you can move the character position to the left, right or up and down side as you like. In this case, I hope the up and down animation is more perfect for this clip. Then, move on 10 frame forward, hold shift and right arrow key two times. Then, reset the position value and set the shutter angle 120 for smooth motion blur. Now select this last two keyframe and right click, then ease in and the first two keyframe ease out. It's perfect. Now see the final preview. So that's all for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments section. I'll see you in the next one.